Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks so much for joining us for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Today's match wraps up round three. Today's winner becomes the final team to make the final four this season. Due to the pandemic, our games play continue virtually. Each season, our competition does welcome teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Joining us remotely, today's teams are the Saints of St. Christopher School, coached by Alina Shahutsky. Founded in 1911, St. Christopher School is a college preparatory school for boys. Located in Richmond, the school emphasizes its honor code and the importance of community. A team from St. Chris won the Battle of the Brains last season, so they are the defending champions. Also with us remotely today, the Comets of Granby High School, coached by Rob Lemure. Granby High School is part of the Norfolk Public School System. Granby's stated mission is to raise the bar so that all students will be well prepared for college and the world of work accomplished through rigor, relevance, and relationships between all. It's good to have all these students here with us remotely today. Now, because we can't all be together, here's how our game has changed. We'll have toss-up rounds, but questions will be directed to each team, alternating between them. I'll call on the first person to raise their hand. There will be no point deductions for any incorrect answers. All right, teams, we're going to start the first toss-up round. Good luck to all. We're going to start the first question goes to St. Christopher's. This building's name is derived from that of Pope Sixtus IV, who had it constructed in the 1480s. Name this world-famous Vatican building whose ceiling was painted by Michelangelo. Kevin. The Sistine Chapel. That is correct. Granby, name the following law of physics, the rate at which a stationary object moves from its position of rest or the extent to which a moving object will deviate from its straight line path is dependent on the mass of the object and the force that is applied to it. Nathan. Uh, Newton's second law. I need you to be more specific. Newton's second law of motion. That is correct. St. Christopher's, the unbreakable communications code developed by the famous Native American wind talkers or code talkers of World War II was based on what tribal language? Mason. Navajo. That is correct. Granby, a resolution bearing his name urged participation in the United Nations. In 1944, he was elected to the first of his five U.S. Senate terms representing Arkansas. Identify this namesake of scholarships supporting graduate study in foreign countries. Matthew. Rhodes. That would be William Fulbright. St. Christopher's, between June and August 1944, all of the Royal Air Force's Hawker Tempests, its fastest planes, were moved to the coast to counteract what new German weapon, the world's first guided missile? Jack. The V-1 rocket. That is correct. Granby, home to towns including Kilmarnock and Reedsville, named the Virginia Peninsula that is bordered by the Rappahannock and Potomac Rivers. Nivali. Uh, the Eastern Shore. It's close, it's the Northern Neck. St. Christopher's, this 1954 Supreme Court case declares that school segregation violated the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, which grants all citizens the right to equal protection under the law. Name this famous case. Kevin. Brown v. Board of Education. That is correct. Granby. A 1973 album by this British progressive rock band stayed on the Billboard charts for 741 weeks. Name the band behind Dark Side of the Moon. Nivali. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is correct. St. Christopher's, this martial art has five major styles. Chen, Hao, Sun, Wu, and Yang. What is the name of this ancient Chinese system of exercises designed for health, self-defense, and spiritual development? Kevin. Kung Fu. It would be Tai Chi. 
Granby, it passes through seven nations, Baffin Bay and the Norwegian and Barents Seas. It marks the southernmost point north of the equator where the midnight sun is visible. Name this imaginary line 23.5 degrees south of the North Pole. Matthew. The Arctic Circle? That is correct. St. Christopher's, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains, Brainy Bunch. Who was the last United States president to be buried in Virginia? And that would have been JFK in 1963. Good job by our teams. Up next, we'll introduce today's players, and then they'll take on the category round. So stay here for much more on Battle of the Brains.